Welcome to the Two Minute Update. The Fort Collins Area Chamber is pleased to provide you with a quick download on what's happening with City Council each week. It was a busy night September 8th with the City Council meeting as the URA board and having a work session talking about Midtown Urban Renewal Plan, an update on the Climate Action Plan, a review of the Safe Routes to Everywhere Plan, and an update on the City's Land Bank Program. The first item on the agenda was the Council changing hats and meeting as the Urban Renewal Authority, or URA, board. The Colorado General Assembly passed a law this last session that will require changes in how URAs function starting in 2016, including how tax increment is spent and who determines those expenditures. Staff recommended and the URA board agreed to shrink the Midtown URA territory by 75% to focus on the current tax increment financing districts of the Foothills Mall and the South Prospect Project only. That will keep the two current TIF allocations in place while allowing future districts to be established under the new legislation. Because the action is considered a substantial modification to the plan, the changes will now go through a process that includes a public hearing and a review by the Planning and Zoning Board as well as the City Council. The second item on the agenda was an update on the Climate Action Plan, or CAP. In March, the Council adopted some of the most aggressive greenhouse gas reduction goals in the nation. Council has been pushing for more detail on how the community will meet those goals. Staff is now developing a strategic plan designed to help the community meet the 2020 goal of 20% reduction. Six project teams and four support teams have been established and they have each prepared a draft work plan. Next steps include forming a community advisory committee, creating a website to become communication central on all things CAP, passage of mid-budget cycle funding for new projects, and finalization of the 2020 strategic plan by quarter two of 2016. No decisions were made on Tuesday night, but the Chamber will be watching this process and conversation closely, as it can provide dramatic opportunity for business, but it also can have dramatic impact on how business functions and can or cannot thrive in our community. Next on the agenda was Safe Routes to Everywhere prioritization. Over the 10-year life of the quarter cent sales tax extension approved in April, $20 million is slated to be invested in making improvements to the community pedestrian, bicycle, and bus stop infrastructure. The Council discussed how best to create 200 miles of missing sidewalks and how to make ADA compliant 64% of the city bus stops. Finally, the Council reviewed the 50 acres of land owned by the city specifically in the Land Bank program. The Council is pushing staff to bring back a complete strategic plan before selling or developing any of the land for affordable housing. That's it for the September 8th meeting. We look forward to seeing you next week for the next edition of the 2-Minute Update. Created using Powtoon.